Hello everyone, uh, this is sort of a tutorial uh, for those of you who have Pioneer head units for your automobile. Um, I have uh, an AVH model, uh, it's an AVH P3400BH and it's installed right there in my 4Runner. And um, I uh, wanted to <clears throat> update the Bluetooth on it, the firmware, and I was having a hard time uh, doing it through my Windows 7 laptop right here. I'm using a Dell Precision laptop. And um, I was having a hard time with it because uh, the instructions weren't pulling up the way the Pioneer had them online for my particular computer. So I was having a hard time. Let's focus on Etsy. Oh, there Etsy says hi there. There he is. Um, having a hard time updating this thing. So I called Pioneer today, and sure enough, um, you need a certain program to make all this stuff work, apparently. If you have a, I had to buy a module for this laptop, a Bluetooth module, and had to add it in here. So it was not built in. So if you have a Bluetooth module, that the little card that you have to buy and install, then you're going to need this program that I'm going to show you here in a little bit. So, um, so yeah, I have the instructions right here. Let's go through it. Uh, this is my first time doing all this stuff, so bear with me if I go a little slow. So let's crank it on. Power this puppy up. And let's see, first thing it says, I already downloaded the firmware, by the way, uh, onto the laptop. So let's turn it off. Going home, off. All right, and now we gotta go to home again. Press system. And then Bluetooth memory clear, right here. Clear. Okay. And it's cleared. Hope I'm focused for you guys here. Okay. So we're cleared. Um, then press OK. Well, press OK. Right. Press home button again. <clears throat> and select BT Audio Source. And confirm that it turns from ready to no audio ser or no service or no audio service. So let's wait for that. Do 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 do. There it is. No audio service. Awesome. All right. Next, we got to come over to the laptop. Let's fire this thing back up. All right. The program that you need is called Blue Soleil. Um, and you can find it on downloadable on just Google it and find it and download it. It's some kind of Bluetooth file transfer program and did not know that until I talked to Pioneer today. So uh, let's open it up here. It's right down here. Blue Soleil space. Double click that and it's going to open up. Um, all right, what's next? All right, it's going to search for devices and uh, yeah, it found it. It's right there at AVH. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. So let's go on it and right click. And sorry, you can't see this, guys. I'm trying to get as close as I can. Right click it and oh, it's already paired. Cool. I did this already, so it's uh, it's paired. Okay, cool. Apparently. So yeah, but you would right click it and pair it. And once it's paired, it would you would have a screen that says authorization. I entered a code 0000 and said yes, and it paired it. Um, I did that before because my camera ran out of space on its memory card, so I had to restart all this stuff up. So that's what happened there. All right, so next we go to properties. Once it's paired, right-click and go down here to properties. And you come over to the authorization little tab over here. All right, cool. And now we're going to, it says to uh, mark the box Bluetooth file transfer. Bluetooth file transfer right there. And click apply. And then click OK. OK. All right. So once that's done, uh, prepare the update of the product. Okay, it says to uh, turn the source off. Okay. Off. Press home button. 
and touch the system icon again. And then BT software update right there. All right. And it says then press the start button. Okay. Boom. All right, data waiting. All right, now over back to here again. Now it says um, double click on the Bluetooth tr tr file transfer icon, which is what? There it is, that one right there. Yeah, that's what the thing is. Double click it. Come on. Double click. Okay, maybe it's not going to work. What the heck? Uh, Bluetooth file transfer. It's not lit though. That's weird. Um. Oh. If the icons are on the top or not highlighted, then double click on the icon of the Pioneer device first to activate it. Oh, there's that authorization thing. I put in zero, 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 and click OK. That's working. Come on. Hey, I'm back, and check it out. Success. Uh, I put in uh, the code 0000. I took it out of data waiting here, just to, to have, it was powered on, but just off, like the source was off. And uh, it hit, I heard a little beep when the 0000 was entered. And sure enough, the, uh, the little icon, yeah, it's too close. That little icon right up there lit up. So that's the file transfer icon. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so um need to double click it. Let's do this here. Ah, don't go away, come on. Alright. Trying to focus for you guys. Alright, let's see. Double click on the file transfer. Boom. Alright. Uh should open automatically. And looky there, recorder and update. Yeah, that's what I didn't have when I was trying to do it. Uh, without this blue soleil, and that's probably why it wasn't working. All right, so the file transfer thing he opened with the two folders, and you have to left click the firmware file and drag it into the update folder. So hope I can do this without messing the thing up. Um, actually, I may need two hands for this. Hey, sorry, it's kind of skewed here, guys. But let me, uh, let me use both hands on this one. I will mess this thing up. All right, so where's my file? There it is. And I'm going to carry it over into the update folder. Update. All right, it's copying. Uh, I still have data waiting on the head unit. But it's copying here. So let's cross our fingers. Still data waiting. Oh, now it's updating. Come on, buddy. Go all the way. Let's go all the way. Still updating. Still updating. Wow. Okay, it's a little longer than I thought. They say once you update this firmware file, there's no no going back. So just so you know. If you like the prior version, um, yeah, you might want to keep it. Yeah, 
Yeah! Now that's what I like to freaking see. Completed. All right, now we have to confirm the version. So let's uh, let's X that out. Let's go home. Okay. Turn the product off. Okay. Oh, the AC off. Okay, I have to turn it completely off, and then turn it on. Okay, confirm the product source is off. Yes, it is off. Press the home button. And press system. And let's see, Bluetooth version info. Version info right there. Hell yeah! HW5SW012720 is what I had my uh, firmware name. And that's it. It's freaking in there. So, yeah. The first time was a charm for me. I lucked out. Uh, other than the uh, the program, which is Blue Soleil. Um, it's, um, as I said, you can find it online. And I did not know I needed that. And so I know I looked everywhere on the internet trying to figure out a different way to update this firmware. So I figured I'd make this video so you guys would know uh, that I used that program on Windows 7 and I use a Dell laptop and uh, with a, a, an add-on uh, module, Bluetooth module. And sure enough, it worked. So now I'm able to uh, stream Pandora from my iPhone 5 uh, with data that should show up inside. I don't have the iPhone with me now, but I don't make this video too long. But, um, but it should work. And um, if it doesn't, I'll leave some comments in the uh, description and all that if I have any issues. But if I don't, you know, I'll just let the video speak for itself. So hope this helped you. And if you have any other questions or how I found things, whatever, uh, just send me questions, uh, comments and stuff. And I sure appreciate you watching, everybody. And good luck to you if you try this. And uh, just take it step by step and you should be fine. Till, the, till next time, uh, take care.